Okay, so this is the traffic light, and this simulation is all about using cascading timers. So there's two main things we want to show here. So under timers, we're going to make just one on delay timer to start here. We're going to call this very first one T40. You'll notice that the colon there, I can hit a semicolon, and it takes it as a colon. Uh, so you don't need to actually hit shift colon each time, you just type semicolon and that works. So if I say T4 semicolon 0, it interprets that correctly. Uh, so I'm going to make, let's say, a 5 second timer. So time base is 0.1, so 50 will be 5 seconds. So if I have this just like this, and I were to download and run this, you'll see as soon as this goes into run mode, that will start counting. And it counts up to 5, and that stops. So, a couple things we can do here. Let's add something else in here. Let's add a bit in here. We're going to make a timer now that's just going to run up to its full time and then reset itself. So it's going to reset itself back to zero. The way we do that, if we say we are going to use the done bit of that timer, so T40 slash done, so basically the logic now reads run this timer as long as the timer is not done. As soon as we hit done, this will actually shut the timer off, which means that resets itself to zero. And our done bit will drop out. Once that drops out, our timer actually runs again. So if we download and run this, you'll see this timer basically goes up to 50 and then goes back to zero. You'll see each time that happens, we get a little blip here on the done bit. It happens too fast for you to even really see. Every time that happens, we get a little blip there. So what we want to do now, now that we have one timer that does that, let's make a second one. What we're going to do is have one timer that runs, and then as soon as the second timer, we want to have as soon as the first timer finishes, run a second timer. As soon as that second timer finishes, run the first timer again. So let's make another line here. I'm going to call this one T41. I'll make this one just to show you how. So you can set these through the presets here. You can also set these, if you say go to data table, this is going to bring up this thing, which is the data table. You can actually view all the values for all of your data table entries here, you can see all of the 100 timers that are set up right now for T4. Uh, and you can actually change the values here for them. So if I want to set my preset value here, I'm going to make this 30. I can change that right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to run this timer once this one is done. So this is going to be T4 colon 0 slash done. So that one will come on when T4 0 is finished. And we're going to reset this one now, not when T4 0 is completed, but when T4 1 is completed. So now the way this reads, Timer one. When, if timer one is not complete, run timer zero. Once timer zero is complete, run timer one. And then once this one completes, it'll reset this one, which will in turn reset this one. And we'll run around in a circle here. So let's see how this goes.
So you can see what we have now here is we have a count of 5 seconds, then a count of 3 seconds, and then 5 seconds, and then 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 3 seconds. So the one weird thing you'll see here now is if we watch these timer timing bits, or the TT bits, you see that TT bit runs whenever that timer is counting. So right now the timer timing of 0 is running, now 1 is running. So what I can actually do here is I can basically run my lights based on these timer timing bits. This is going to kind of be the basis of this whole program we're doing. So I'm going to say T40 slash TT. Oops. T4 1 slash TT. I'm going to have this come on with this one, and this come on with this one. Now what you're going to see is I'm actually controlling two of these lights over here based on time. So basically red is on for 5 seconds, green is on for 3 seconds. And that is the basic structure you will need to make these programs in class for this lab. Uh, it's a little more tricky than that because you got six of them all together. So basically you will cascade six of these timers together. And then the final step is you can actually complete everything you need to do in this lab by only using four timers all together. And that is basically what the lab is. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to lay out this traffic light program. So the key elements here are we are going to draw a little timing diagram of green light 1, yellow light 1, red light 1, red light 2, green light 2, yellow light 2. So we're basically going to make a little timing diagram going this way here from 0 seconds to 24 seconds. I'm not sure if these numbers are right. This is just what I'm making up right now. The extra, student exercises might tell you different numbers. But this is what we're going with here. So starting at time 0 and going forward, for the first 8 seconds, green light number 1 is going to be on. Then after 8 seconds, between 8 and 12 seconds, this next little 4 second interval, yellow light 1 comes on. And then for the next 12 seconds, so from 12 until 24, red light one is on. Now, the flip side of that, what the number two light is doing, whenever the first one is green or yellow, the red is on. So that's all the way from zero up until 12 seconds. And then we go from 12 to 22. Sorry, that should actually be Yeah, that should be 20. 12 to 20, we are actually going to have uh, the green. And then for the final four seconds here is going to be the yellow on number two. And then we, so we basically want to have, first thing we're going to do is do it with six timers all together. So we're going to have basically three cascading timers, T0, T1, T2. So we're going to go from this one to this one to this one, reset back to this, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These are going to go on basically at these time intervals. At the same time, we're going to go T3, T4, T5 at these time intervals. So figure that out. 
The next trick here is can we do this with only four timers? And yes, you can. We can basically break it up and do this with only four timers using this same timing diagram as well because a lot of these intersection points are the same. So you can actually combine together some timer timing bits and say if this timer and this timer are both running then we're in this zone. And then the final thing you're going to see is that you do get a problem where you will get crashes. And I'll tell you now the reason you get crashes is because the way you have these traffic lights operating like this is not the way real traffic lights operate. There will be a spot where you need to have some overlap in here. So this area here, there's two things you need to do. This area here, you're actually going to need to have a spot here where red light two is on and then red light number one actually is going to have to overlap a little bit so that both lights are red at the same time. So you're going to have to adjust your timing a little bit to do that to avoid some crashes. The other thing is what do you do when this whole thing resets and your time value is actually equal to zero and there are no timers timing at all. So when all TTs are off, what happens then? Ask yourself that question because when that happens, you will get a crash as well. Figure out how you want to handle that situation. Okay, so go with that. Good luck.